Lesson 232 Be in my mind, my father, through the day. Be in my mind, my father, when I wake, and shine on me throughout the day today. Let every minute be a time in which I dwell with you. And let me not forget my hourly thanksgiving that you have remained with me and always will be there to hear my call to you and answer me. As evening comes, let all my thoughts be still of you and of your love. And let me sleep, sure of my safety, certain of your care and happily aware I am your son. This is as every day should be. Today, practice the end of fear. Have faith in him who is your father. Trust all things to him. Let him reveal all things to you and be you undismayed because you are his son. Lesson 233 I give my life to God to guide today. Father, I give you all my thoughts today. I would have none of mine. In place of them, give me your own. I give you all my acts as well, that I may do your will instead of seeking goals which cannot be obtained and wasting time in vain imaginings. Today I come to you. I will step back and merely follow you. Be you the guide and I the follower who questions not the wisdom of the infinite nor love whose tenderness I cannot comprehend but which is yet your perfect gift to me. Today we have one guide to lead us on, and as we walk together, we will give this day to him with no reserve at all. This is his day. And so it is a day of countless gifts and mercies unto us. Lesson 234 Father, today I am your son again. Today we will anticipate the time when dreams of sin and guilt are gone and we have reached the holy peace we never left. Merely a tiny instant has elapsed between eternity and timelessness. So brief the interval, there was no lapse in continuity, nor break in thoughts which are forever unified as one. Nothing has ever happened to disturb the peace of God the Father and the Son. This we accept as wholly true today. We thank you, Father, that we cannot lose the memory of you and of your love. We recognize our safety and give thanks for all the gifts you have bestowed on us, for all the loving help we have received, for your eternal patience and the word which you have given us, that we are saved. Lesson 235 God in his mercy wills that I be saved. I need but look upon all things that seem to hurt me and with perfect certainty assure myself God wills that I be saved from this and merely watch them 
disappear. I need but keep in mind my father's will for me is only happiness, to find that only happiness has come to me. And I need but remember that God's love surrounds his son and keeps his sinlessness forever perfect, to be sure that I am saved and safe forever in his arms. I am the son he loves. And I am saved because God in his mercy wills it so. Father, your holiness is mine. Your love created me and made my sinlessness forever part of you. I have no guilt nor sin in me, for there is none in you.